Well, let's have a word about the rugby tests on the weekend. All Blacks, Edgeley, very boring. The All Blacks are in big trouble. Maybe this is the couple of years now leading to the next World Cup that the All Blacks will not dominate and they'll actually win a World Cup in 2011. Let's hope not. The Italians, Italian player up for gouging. Can you believe that? An international rugby, international sportsman, grown men want to go around and grab people in the eyes and scratch them. There's nothing worse. They should go and play lady sports or do something different. Australia, France. Well, there was a lot to be expected this game. The French coming off a good victory in New Zealand's. Um, second test, not that great. But again, the few injury problems, a long season. Uh, I did tip Australia by 18, I think it was 16, so not far off. One try in 80 minutes. You know, you had 47,000 people. Wasn't a great crowd when you think about the state of origin on Wednesday at 85,000. So rugby is in a bit of trouble. Now the other test was the British Lions and South Africa. Again, Skolp Berger, boys, come on, you're big boys, you're big farm guys in South Africa. Why do you want to go out scratch people in the eyes? Skolp, you're a great player, mate, but unfortunately, eight weeks you're out. And the other thing was I thought the referee was very, very dicey. Referees destroy rugby. And if you have a look at that last penalty by O'Gara, have a look at him. He not once took his eyes off the ball and he gets penalised because the other guy jumps in the air. How can that be a penalty when in the first half, Skoltberger gets a yellow card for scratching and then after the game, he gets eight weeks. Timmy Horan's come out and uh, a great centre for Australia has come out and said Lottie Dekiri should be in the test team. Well, it's very unusual for a Queenslander firstly to actually promote a New South Wales player. So Timmy, you must be getting old, mate, because you never used to think New South Wales players are any good. Robbie Deans has got a lot of choices at the moment. And I think that Lottie's really got to go out there and perform with the ball. And unfortunately, it goes back to playing for New South Wales, which had a shocking year. And I really think that the problem in New South Wales is Phil Waugh controls the team. The ball doesn't go out, it doesn't get out to the back line, and the back line doesn't function. But Barry Hall, a Swans player, every week is in trouble. He needs to go to anger management courses. Because what he's doing to the team, he's destroying the team. He's actually not a team player, so he's talk about retirement, just retire Barry. Um, mate, you can't keep on going week in, week out, because all the opposition got to do is niggle you a bit, and you're going to punch somebody, and you're going to give, lose the game. I don't know what these guys think about. Every week they're in the paper, every week they've been warned about things, and they still go and do it. Two young guys in the rocks where my shop is, 140 George Street, Sydney, come down and see me. All my new range of clothes, come in and say hello. Um, two young players, very young, in trouble for having to fight all over the press. And uh, look, guys, I, mean, I don't know how many times you got to, guys got to be warned. I reckon the best thing is just don't let them drink. The Canberra Raiders, my nephew Terry, finally had a victory over the uh, the Stormers, um, first time in many years after their hide in this couple of uh, weeks ago. Actually, I'm by 40 and uh, Terry played well and let's just hope that he gets a New South Wales side uh, the state of origin which was absolute debacle last week we haven't talked about that at all uh, New South Wales should not have even turned up they should have gone home and I think Craig Bellamy's got a shouldn't be a coach Phil Gould what a joke he should not be coaching he thinks he's the only man in the world that knows anything about rugby go and get Tommy Radonigas get someone that's got a bit of guts and mongrel and go out there and bash him Tommy he's been a, he's he's, a, he's um, very similar to a friend of mine called Jeff Sale. Every year he turns up and puts his nomination for coach, but they ignore him because he's the old school. Maybe we need some of that old school back, some old values, go out there and play tough, play for your state. There's a lot of pride, but unfortunately New South Wales guys at the moment haven't got the pride or the passion, and that's what it is. You keep on, you can't keep on swapping, changing teams week in, week out. You brought back Barrett for one game, he's 31, he's not gonna be there again. You're going backwards. Pick a team for the future and stick to it. It's a shame that uh, great uh, idol Michael Jackson died this week. Uh, a lot of people in the world obviously will uh, realise what a great entertainer he was and I don't think we really will know what Michael Jackson, uh, who he is, but uh, look, I tell you, there's been no greater performer than Michael Jackson. And I was fortunate enough to see him many, many years ago live and we won't get a better concert. Uh, a friend of mine, Pedroni, who played for Milan uh, when I played over there in the 80s and early 90s, unfortunately died. Uh, last week, so condolences go to his family. 
and all the guys who uh, played with him. Uh, condolences from Mark Killer, Timmy Gavin, myself, and Jason Lillan, Australia. But uh, guys, we'll be thinking of you. But anyway, look, thanks for joining me. If you've got anything you want to say, come down and see me or email me. Um, www.the11thcommandment.tv um, or goosestep at optusnet.com.au Now what we're going to try and do is I've got a couple of books here. The best email, best question, gets a free book and I can write whatever you want into it and uh, guys come and see me um, and we'll look after you. We'll have a free coffee.